Hey, it's me, Mustang Rebuilder. Doing a second video on the Bandit 2550. Uh, if you remember, this one here had my hydraulic pump out. Okay? Yesterday, it's raining here, so it's great time, and I'm sorry about the extra noise in the shop. The rain's hitting the middle roof. Look what's in! The pump! I'll make a separate video showing you the easiest way to get that in. Yeah. The pump goes in easy. The trick is hooking up your hydraulic lines without freaking. You can't get to some of them with wrenches, but there's a little sequence I'll show you, tell you about in the next one when, when we start it, okay? Now, before I start this machine up, which I'm not going to do today, I'll disconnect this line and I'll make sure that pump is full of hydraulic oil. Remember that if you ever go to do this. You don't want to start a dry pump, okay? Anyway. What I'm actually working on, since that's complete and done, before I put, I'm going to drain the hydraulic tank, put fresh oil in it, but before I do that, I've had a leak. Maybe some of you guys have had. My brother's had one, my other guy had. Eventually you will. And your cutter wheel, okay? Inside your pump here, your pump comes across to the cutter wheel, but in here, your machine, when you're grinding up several pieces of time, what we found Sometimes you get a thin piece of copper wire or that mesh that's behind like sod. It looks like fishing line. Sometimes it'll get up in there. Or your seal will just get, the outer seal will get old and it'll cut it and it'll start dripping on you. My brother's is dripping really bad. Mine was dripping, but maybe a couple of drops on the trailer every day. But since I'm already here and getting this thing done, I'm going ahead and uh, doing a complete thing. Now we'll make a separate video. On after I get the pump off, how I change that seal or what to look for. But what I wanted to show you, what you got to do before that, you know, you got to take your bolts off, the shield guard off. I already pre did that. I already pre loosened this deal. It had a brace there, went there. Why show you that crap? But what's really important in order to get a wheel off, whether you're changing a wheel or whatever. Oh, yeah, you notice something? I got some wear on my wheel. I'm going to show you how to fix that later, okay? Anyway. That wheel's over three and a half years old, produced probably, honestly, 350, maybe close to 400 grand. That wheel is produced. <laughs> well, it's done really well. All right. You got your normal bolts here, okay? Uh, excuse me, here. All right? But you'll have these specialty ones that go in here, okay? And look at the head. They have an Allen head, okay? These son of bitches, excuse me, are going to be frozen there, all right? Uh, you can use an impact or whatever, and it's going to laugh at you. Right? What, what you can do is, uh, you know what you can do? I'll show you right here. You go down to Harbor Freight. This is their Pro-Line Impact Hex Driver set. And it's already on my impact. It's already got the bolt I took out of it in there. Okay, you see it's got, you know, some rust on it. All right. These things actually work. I'm really surprised. I think it was $23 that were on sale. But that won't work either by itself. What do I got there? Oxyacetylene. You don't have oxyacetylene, you can get one of those map gas units you get at Ace Hardware, Home Depot. You have to heat this bolt up to its cherry red. And then bam, it'll come right out with your impact, all right? If you don't heat it, I'm not lying to you, it ain't coming out. And if you try to break a bar it without heating it, just it'll mess up in here and you won't get it out if you get it. Well, that's the end of the video. You can hear the rain coming. Thanks. Okay, I wanted to follow up real quick. You remember it was raining like cats and dogs on me yesterday. I couldn't hear shit. Anyway, um, all the nuts and bolts are out of here. She's off show you what's behind here now we have six millimeter allens okay just like the cog pulleys on my other machines see those other holes those are the pull it you take those out take these when they're out you screw them in those holes they force that collar out okay that collar you got to have it out in order to get this plate off, okay? The wheel right now is free and um, it'll be frozen on, but you have to use a persuader. You know what I mean about a persuader, right? 
Oh, look, it's persuading. It'll come off, but I'm leaving it on until I get those out. Because another reason I gotta tell you is if you have your teeth on, which I do, and I really don't wanna take them all off, this will only come out so far. And then you'll have to wig take maybe half out, rotate it, wiggle it to get it out. Ah, with that. Got bolts to hold the pump on. I'll loosen those bolts up. I'll start pulling the pump out while the collar's coming out, and everything will come out together. All right. Anyway, I'm not going to show you that, but what I wanted to show you what was hidden inside here in order to get that pump off, all right? These. And then how you get that collar off. You put the screws and pull it out, just like the pulleys on the other machine I showed you. Anyway, I'll start this up when it's all out and everything, and then I'll start you another video of the same series on uh, the pump, what I found out, why I was dripping, okay? And uh, talk to you all later. God bless. Hey, till the next video. Thanks, guys. Well, hopefully this helps somebody because, you know, some people are scared to even open their machines. They're like, uh, you know, only a dealer knows the mystery of how this works. Um, I hate to say this, but bullshit. In the end, the guys that run these machines know it better than the dealer, know it better than the factory, okay? We all run these things every single day. We know what fails on them. We know after it fails, after we figure out a fix, you get more and more confident with your machine. Okay, anyway, hey, um, till the next video when I open up the pump, I'll leave this video alone. God bless. Have a great day, huh? It's the weekend again. Enjoy yourself. Have a beer. Not on me, on you. Thanks.